Welcome back to another Counter-Strike 2 update. As promised, I'm going to keep you updated on the new game, new CSGO update. I don't have access to the new game yet, so I'm going to keep you updated with Twitter. For example, right here we can see OnePixel tweeted that he checked out all of his 1392 CSGO players in his friend list if they got access to the Counter-Strike 2 beta and only 29 of them got it. 19 of them are streamers, influencers or affiliated. So that leaves 0.72% of cashers who got access. So if you also don't have access yet, you're definitely not alone. There are 0.72% players casual players currently who have access to the update. He even added a, a picture of his friends and the, who has access. And if you want to check it out for yourself, if some of your friends has access, there is a link. Look at, the, at your friends who have access to the update. I will put the link in the description of the video so you can look at your friends too. You can look at some comments, only pros, content creators. Yeah, Taps and Chris, okay. I even heard pro players talk about that there is like empty servers, empty casual servers, only a few players playing matchmaking. So I hope or I guess there are going to be more players soon and even more maps soon because right now every player who has access to the beta can only play Dust 2. Okay, let's switch to another topic, another update about Counter-Strike 2 from NC Mist. He checked out the Counter-Strike hitboxes and he found out that all player models have the same hitboxes size, which is different to CSGO. In CSGO it was dependent on the player model you had equipped. Also here you can see the hitbox was increased by 20% in Counter-Strike 2 compared to CSGO. So it increased 4 to 20% depending on the agent skin. Okay, maybe there are still differences from agent skin to, different, to a different agent skin, but all hitboxes increased, got bigger, so it should be easier to hit headshots or generally hit the enemy. Or new hitboxes have capsule shape, like, like here, you can see it here. Um, previously hitboxes for feet and hands were boxes, okay? That's also a difference in hitting enemies. Look at the comments here. One asked the question, um, does that mean visible is equals guaranteed hit? Like sometimes in CSGO, if the top of someone's head is visible, it doesn't always mean it's able to be hit. Yeah, in CSGO you're able to see the enemy, for example his backpack, but cannot hit him there. Uh, most likely, there seems to be, you get what you see, much less, okay. Every model for players, regardless of shape, will have the same hitbox now. Okay, well I can't confirm that yet because I don't has, have access as I already said, but that's something I will for sure look at as soon as I get access to the update. Let's switch to the next topic from Gabe Follower. Looks like Counter-Strike devs are working towards implementing of early concepts, ideas. Okay, that's nice. So they are trying to update the game with different stuff, not only just updating the engine. They have they have pet skins for chickens, full body customizations of agents, face mask, hats, glasses, pants, shoes. Okay, that's insane. In Cisco League Zeus code, you had only one slot called clothing hands. In Counter-Strike 2, there are mentions of six more wearables. Okay, like this. There are even pictures here from the code. And that, I guess that's some picture of an old Counter-Strike game where you can actually buy different clothes. <laughs> that's, okay, that's insane. In a different picture right here, different helmets, hats, okay. Collections. <laughs> Imagine having, having different face masks, skins, or, or glasses, shoes, even shoes are insane because you can see your feet now in the new Counter-Strike. Okay, he even wrote that it's not an April Fool's joke because it was posted on the 1st of April. 
Uh, let's see. Okay, then here we have Sue writing that these were already in CSGO. So maybe it's not something new after all. But we will see, I guess. It would be insane to see <laughs> something like that in the future. Okay, let's keep going to the next topic. Also from Gabe Follower. Previously we had only mentions of first and third person taunts. But with Counter-Strike 2 beta release we got actual animation sequences. It's important to note that it's most likely related to Danger Zone and won't be used in normal Counter-Strike matchmaking. Okay, we got, <laughs> we got these little animated dances, like you know from Fortnite. <laughs> it looks like some Fortnite dance you could, you're going to be able to do in Counter-Strike 2. What's going on? Okay, so they're indifferent. Oh, okay. Ah, okay, now after, after looking at the video now, it looks more like something you do after the round, right? Like, Right, so you, you know from different games after the round some animation. It's definitely not related to team introduction in the beginning or end of match. Okay, never mind, I guess it's not. Sequences have completed different namings. Okay, and start in different fight. We finally have swimming animations. Whoa, that's also insane. Wait, then let's go back here. Swimming animations. So you are going to what? You're going to be able to swim in Counter-Strike 2? That's also something you are not able in Counter-Strike Go right now. Okay, that's that's really interesting. What do you think? Just write me your opinion on the different topics in the comments. I'm always very interested in what different people think about it. Are you, uh, do, you, do you think that there are going to be Fortnite dances in Counter-Strike? Which I think is, is crazy. Um, and what do you think about the swimming animation? Should we be able to swim in Counter-Strike? I don't know, man. CSGO dance, yeah, just like that. Nice. Okay, then we have another tweet from Gay Follower. Here's how last person taunts will look like in Counter-Strike. Ah, okay, so you yeah, of course, you're seeing the taunts from first person. The, anim the different animations from first person <laughs> look like this, okay? Just see your hands clapping. That's crazy. Okay, yeah, that's, here. that's the last three right here. So these are the taunts and here's how you see it. Here's how the enemies or, or yeah, the other players see it. Okay, that's crazy. But let's go on to the next topic. The user Pogu posted a video, a preview of how the Valve NP cheat live notification currently looks in the beta. Okay, yeah, of course they want to make something new, some new anti-cheat, but it's, there's no, no information out there yet, but it's going to be named Valve anti-cheat live, I guess. And let's see how it looks like. Either detect that this match has been cancelled by Wealth anti by Wealth anti cheat live. Oh, okay, so it's yeah, it's mid game, round two, and the match gets cancelled. Yeah, because right now in CS:GO you have to play the match even if there is a cheater banned in your match. So the cheater gets banned, but you still have to finish the match. And this is uh, this, this doesn't make any sense because the match gets deleted right after the, you played the game, if there is a cheater in the game. So now they changed it to actually cancel the match uh, mid-game. Right here you see in the second round if there is a cheater in your game. And some small other topic from CS Money. They posted that they removed bracelets in the Counter-Strike 2 update. You can see right here. There are no bracelets in Counter-Strike 2 and this is how it is in Counter-Strike GO. Okay, so they changed some little things on the agent skins. So I checked the comments and Zul again here says this is 100% an oversight. They forgot about Michelinus tea sleeves also. It seems like they just forgot something and they're going to update it later in the game. Okay, let's go to the last topic. Okay, which is a tweet from 
it's relux uh, it doesn't make any sense that the translation is so bad but it's basically just sarcasm because he's saying that it looks one to one which you clearly can see here the old Molotov is on the left side which is just some bottle with some fire on the top and on the right side you can see the counter-strike 2 bottle which is actually you can see there's something in it and it even moves the inside of the bottle even moves when you are moving and the fire also looks way more realistic so there's some big differences and it looks way better than in Cisco right now yeah and that's it from me i hope you liked this short update i'm going to keep you updated on the news on counter-strike 2 if you have any questions just write me a comment as always and yeah that's it bye